449 now, let's switch on over to Storm Team 4 and our Marissa Wellison who is live in the Storm Chaser at UWM Freshwater Sciences Building for spo Storm Spotter Training that's happening today. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning, Adriana. Yes, it's happening today here at the building behind me from 2 to 4 o'clock. So this is going to be one that's going to be happening in the afternoon rather than later in the evening. Anyone is welcome to come here and what goes on during storm spotter training. Well, you'll learn about different types of severe weather and then you also learn how to report them because not only do we rely on those reports, but even the National Weather Service who issues those tornado warnings or severe thunderstorm warnings, they rely on reports from viewers to know what is actually making to the ground or what is actually happening in particular areas. So again, you can come down here to the UWM Freshwater Sciences building for that storm spotter training 2 to 4 p.m. today. Let's take a look at your weather today. Thankfully, we're not dealing with any severe weather today, and I think we're looking at a better forecast, I'd say, because it's going to be warmer. Now, this morning, it's not that warm. We are still waking up in the 30s. I can still see my breath out here, so it is chilly. Bundle up as you head out the door, but overall, we are going to look at our temperatures climbing throughout the day, warmer than yesterday. However, it is going to be cooler by the lake. By the lunch hour, you can see a lot of us climbing into the 50s. Then as we continue throughout the afternoon, we climb into the 60s inland. Low to mid 60s expected there, but by the lakefront, we will have a bit of an easterly component to the wind, so expect highs mainly in the mid to upper 50s. So just a little bit cooler by the lake. We are dry out there right now, and as we zoom out and take a look at what's going on, there is some rain just off to our north, but that is where it is going to stay today. However, if you do live towards Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties, you may get clipped by just a few sprinkles, but for the most part, we really won't be looking at any wet conditions here just a couple more clouds pushing through. Then as we continue past tonight, we'll continue throughout uh, the rest of your Thursday moving into Friday. We'll watch two storm systems, one sliding in from the south that I do expect to also mainly stay to our south, but then another one coming in from the west that will eventually bring us some rain showers, but not until we get into your Saturday morning. And that will start off, unfortunately, a rainy weekend here through southeastern Wisconsin and maybe even some sleet and snow mixed in as you get into Sunday. So not necessarily an ideal forecast. But let's take a quick look at your seven day forecast. After we get through the rest of your Saturday here, only can go in one direction. So hold on. There we go. Your seven day forecast showing more rain showers this weekend, cooling down after again near 60 today and tomorrow. Adriana. All right.